Hello friends, I'm Colonel Folia and you rejoined the action here in Transport Fever Peninsula where we are coming in for a landing at Hill Valley Transcontinental uh, because uh, the one thing we didn't do last time round is actually check this out from this angle. Uh, as a pilot, you live for this kind of stuff. I might, I might get rid of the trees. That feels like it's, it's a challenge too far. But I mean, look at this straight underneath. Beautiful. No, no touching, no feeling going on anywhere in the vicinity of that. Um, perfect. Uh, now, there's actually three passengers on board here, which is super, because it means that somebody somewhere actually wants three somebodies uh, somewhere. Well, you say somewhere, you mean Dark City, because that's where they've come from. Uh, want to actually fly on the, uh, on the super, super constellation in order to get out here. We should have another one coming in. It'd be nice if there was. We got another one coming in. Have we? Have we? No, we haven't. Not at the moment. Uh, well, maybe one will turn up during my, uh, my tenuous preamble. Um, so, yeah, that's what we did last time, is uh, I spared you having to look at the construction of this airport, and instead we just celebrated the glorious arrival of the Super Constellation, uh, which may be as advanced a plane as I end up running, uh, because it's like a spaceship, uh, but it's not a DC-3. It's almost a DC-3, but it's too much like a spaceship to be one. Anything? No. Okay, right. Well, today we turn our attention to something significantly more complicated than, than merely engineering an airport so that the approach flies directly underneath a rail bridge. Yes, we do. And it's back to trains. I say back to trains, but trains are always uh, pretty much present as far as this series is concerned. I thought, I thought we'd do this. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that brilliant? Isn't that... Isn't that just the best thing ever? It is the best thing ever. Uh, right, let's move on. Uh, so, uh, we're going to head down in the correct direction, which I have managed to do somehow, uh, go me, um, to uh, the area just outside Alpha Complex. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to do this in one sitting. I think it might take more than one go. Uh, but let's, let's at least look at the problem that confronts us here. And the problem that confronts us here is as follows. I mean, firstly, you've got this, this kind of truck conga line uh, that, is, that is forever going. Now, here's the thing. With the truck conga line, you could remove the end of the conga and, uh, and actually make just as much money, if not more, as a result of your, your overall throughput. If there is a conga line occurring, then, you know, people who are in queues are not making you money. They are costing you money. So I should possibly look at, uh, at re-evaluating that. Uh, production here is well, it's moderate at the moment, but we're not building up a backlog, uh, and everyone's coming away with at least some fuel on board, so that's a positive. But what we've got here is a ruddy grey station, uh, which is, which is marvellous. Uh, what's it in range of? It's not in range of that, or is it? Oh, this is... Oh, woe is me. Oh, dearie. When I placed this, I, I, I failed on a, on, a most, on a most heinous fashion to, uh, to make this work. Now, I hear what you're saying. You're saying uh, Second Street Connection, old man. Uh, and I'll go, yeah, Second Street Connection. But uh, that dog will not hunt. No. No, you're going to need to. You're going to need to do some something cunning here. All right, okay. Well, we'll start with something cunning. I've got a million and a bit in the bank. Uh, we're going to hit the. We're going to hit the pause button, I think, because uh, that way we won't interrupt the flow of the uh, of the big boy, uh, as it uh, as it makes me all the money in the world that I can then use to uh, to facilitate this kind of an operation. Um, now, if I get this right, why did I do it that way round in the first place? Because you're unhinged. That's why you, you you didn't think longer than than three seconds into the future. Right, high speed, no electrification. Ooh, you sure? We can add it later. Second street connection. Make it as long as it can possibly be, and we want four tracks. Right, whiz it around any way you like. Really, I mean, you could just put it straight back in as it was. No, you couldn't. It won't work. Oh, maybe it's because of where this needs to connect to. Mm, yeah. 
Okay, so you're going to need that from that side. If we spin it around the other way, then you need that. Now, that feels like it might possibly be close enough to the, uh, to the refinery to work. Now, where are we going? Yeah, interesting. Is it, though? It is moderately interesting. So you're going to need to go onto track one there, otherwise there is no chance of getting a bit of road in there. Now this is a bit of a, it's, it's a three quarters of a million quid punt to try this out. Well, in which case, if you're prepared to throw away three quarters of a million quid, wouldn't it be better to do the one that makes uh, makes megabucks? All right, okay. By by megabucks, I'm, I simply no oh, no 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 no. We don't need a. Don't need a 12 mile an hour strip there. We want something, okay, 46, which is, it's not swift, is it? But it is started to do a corner there anyway, so that's okay. Now, can we get a bit of country road in here? I will take the, the smallest piece viable. Please work. Oh, it's good. It is good. It is good. More than that, it actually adds to the atmosphere of the entire area. All right, okay, keep going, keep going, because you never know your luck. Uh, to about there. Uh, to about there. I want to get a right angle in, well, an almost right angle in here. Oh, this is this is looking promising. Uh, right, yeah, keep going. To there would be super. Right. Okay, well, that, that's worked. Um, although, has it? Yes. Yes, that has worked, because you've got the truck stop, you've got the refinery, and you've got the station. Uh, so this is going to be Raccoon... Really? Raccoon City now, are you? Uh, we, were, we were always thinking of you as, as not being Raccoon City, but I, I suppose we are. What have, what have we called the port? Hold on, hold on. You, you can be Raccoon City, but let me find out what I've called the port, because we'll, we'll mirror that. Okay. No problem. So this is, this is Raccoon uh, City... Uh, to a freight hub, freight hub, and at some point, I think I might have to get the uh, the bigger freight stations mod on the go here in order to uh, in order to get more out of this. Now, this opens up several possibilities. Several. Uh, the first of which uh, we can turn things back on. Uh, among which, among those of which, we have. Uh, the opportunity to replace this refinery here and the bazillion trucks that are running on it with a with a train line instead. The problem is that I don't want to do it to there because it doesn't make any money. I have tried it. I, I mean, it's probably 20 episodes ago now, but uh, uh, I took half an hour and built a little train line to do this jump. And the distance is not sufficient that even fully loaded, you can't make any money out of it. So instead, we'd play a dirty hack and, uh, and we'd go here instead because it's a little bit further away. Yeah, why make money efficiently when you can make money inefficiently? I've always said. We can then repurpose some of these trucks to pick up from here uh, instead and supply Alpha Complex that way. Everybody's happy. Meanwhile, we then want to run over here to just outside Rapture. Now, where just outside Rapture remains to be seen, but uh, you're going to get a passenger line in here at some point as well. Here's the existing train line. There's the uh, the rather splendid uh, goods setup that we've got going on and its associated uh, wagon port effort. So what if I were to just look at something like this? Now, it doesn't need to be a four. This one can be a two. Won't need a second street. Something like that around here would work quite well would it have a look the other way uh yeah yeah we can make that work um so something around there would work quite nicely yes all right okay so that's you know that's a million quid when you take into account probably a couple hundred thousands worth of smoothing and, and landscaping uh that could that could work quite nicely now the the thing is I don't really know what I've got other than an idea in my head about something that might work. And that's always, that's always a lovely place to start, isn't it? Uh, but what this will open up for us is the opportunity to maybe deprecate some ships uh, that aren't bringing in raw resources and instead 
uh, we can start to move um, uh, the the actual delivery train, the uh, delivery of goods via overland uh, train service instead. Yeah, so there's that. Right, last one on the agenda for this list is, uh, are we going to do all of these today, do you think? I don't think so. I think we'll do some. Uh, right, we'll put in a little cheeky, a little cheeky 160 that goes about there. Ah, oh, no, you can be a bit more cheeky than that. We'll do a, a cheeky, uh, a cheeky 240 that comes in about here, s completely flush with the refinery. Uh, although you could even go more cheeky than that, wing that around that way, and uh, and go for something like this. Yeah, yeah, it's a terminal. We're not going to go any further than that are we no no it's, it's not going to go any further than that unless we wanted to do some kind of convoluted looping idea don't even say that out loud man don't even don't even say it out loud we're not going to do that we're going to do this and we're actually going to put it in there we go we've done it now there you go we've committed to a course of action and therefore let's get rolling i'm going to stick that in there very briefly we'll come back and make it a little bit more in more better in a in a few moments uh, but I just don't want the station griping about not being connected to anything. Uh, we also possibly... Do we want the high cap here? We want the high cap everywhere, frankly. But I want to start things... Uh, we'll do it now. Okay, all right. Forget I spoke. We're going to do this now. Because uh, that way it's done. Right. Smooth all of this lot out. No, that's down. That's not smooth. That's smooth. There you go. Down was the wrong button to press there because you've had to spend money to uh, to undown it again. But you're okay. Yeah, everything's flowing. Now we're going to get an interruption in the smooth flow of uh, of traffic ops coming up here. Right. We want that to be one way, and we'll have it. Uh, yeah, one way. Length three. Oh, length three looks uh, looks moderate. Unable to align the terrain. Oh, how how super. Well, let's uh, let's raise the terrain a little bit, just a little bit. Put it onto low strength. There you go. That's it. That's that's how you you manage to do it without it being completely heinous. It's half a million quid for this, you know. Yeah, it is. Also, have you got any idea which end is out? Well, if you make it two way, there you go. You got your in and out figured out there, and it, actually, it doesn't matter. The trucks have to travel the same distance regardless. Do you really want to spend half a million quid on this? Want is a want is a strong word. Um, I, I don't want to spend half a million quid on it, but I'm prepared to spend that amount of money to make something that works rather well. Put that in there. Right. Expensive? Yes. Uh, overall worth it? Debatable. Have we done it? Yes. Right. Now then, bulldoze that. Oh, the local citizenry will be displeased. Stuff them. Uh, bang that over here like this. Yes. All right, okay. I, no, sorry, I thought that was a bit of road. It's not, it's water. That's that's something else entirely. Uh, send that down there. Yep. Good. Hope this one can make it happen. It can't. Good, good. Everything's going swimmingly. Uh, we'll, we'll just do a little uh, a little one of these then. And around there, like that. Perfect. Not perfect. Onwards, yeah. Okay, to about there. Wait. To about there. Right, good. Round the corner. Perf perfect. Per mm. And we go a little bit this way. And then we'll start, we'll start our angle of attack. Like that. Yeah, and then round the corner. Top. Stuff you, road. Okay, right. No, you know, I was going to give you a nice road, but no, I'm going to give you a little skinny tiddler that is compliant. Uh, just just whack it on there somewhere. Try not to make it too horrible. It's That's pretty horrible. All right, okay. In which case, go to there. We'll go straight downhill. Let's let's sort out the leveling first, shall we? Why, what What are you doing now? What's, uh, what's occurring? This is the easy bit. Right, this is this is the bit that we just get out of the way ever so quick. Why are you trying to do some kind of clever manoeuvre? Have I done something ridiculous on the angle there? Take that, go around the corner. Right, straight downhill. That's not straight downhill, that's a little bit downhill. Straight downhill. 
Then continue. Oh, you're just. You, you're killing me, game. You're killing me. Uh, just. Would you please. Take a bit of road off here. Like that. Right? Take it up. Right. Okay. Just, just to there. Then do this. Perfect. <laughs> uh, right. Come on. Come on. There you go. Like that. Yeah. And then like this. First time. Okay, right. Now then, hopefully that leaves everything in range of everything. Yes. You? Yes. Okay. Good. So this is going to be Alpha Complex Refinery. R-E-F. Uh, E-S-P-C-T-T. Uh, as Aretha Franklin once said. Um, melodically. Then we'll do this. Get a bit of this. Sorry. Yeah, that's going to be done. There you go. There you go. Yeah, just just like I yeah, can't deal with that bit. No, fine. There you go. Uh, if you can't smooth it, hide it. There you are, marvelous, perfect, right, good. High detailing. Um, and then, uh, oh, you're you're going to need them to get around the outside to go the other way as well. Okay, right. Uh, give me give me anything, frankly. Uh, that, yes. This, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, I see. I see what you. I see what you're aiming for here. We don't want to do too much slope, though. We got terrain alignment collision instead. That was a shame, though, because that was that was quite good. Uh, go a little bit further. Keep it on the same altitude. No, 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 no. Do it again. Roads, man. I tell you, I don't pay enough attention to them, and as such, they punish me every time I give them a looking at. They go, no, we we don't want to do what you want to do. And I say, oh, would you though? Go on, that's it. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, it's not inexpensive. It's going to need the smoothing gun. But uh, frankly, any excuse. That's a tree. All right, do all this. Oh, that's because I'm on low strength. Put me on mediums. That's what are you? What are you doing there? I tell you what you tell you what you're not doing. You're not smoothing. You're uh, you're creating a cliffside. Which doesn't look awful. So uh, so we'll crack on. Right, let's do the interesting bit, which is actually involves, you know, train track and what have you. Uh, now then, this is going to be more challenging than I perhaps gave it credit. But the route is long enough that it's actually going to make some cash. So if I just, we're just, let's just do one of these and see what we get. Uh, round two, about there. You might go, oh, is that really the one you want to use? And I'll say, like, what's the, with the tone of voice there, man? That's uh, that's unnecessary. All right, we've got a collision going on with the tunnel entrance. It's six and a half million. Uh, tunnel is the way we're going to have to go. We get a bit of bridge in the middle, though. Hold on, let's have a look. Yes. Okay. Now, we could go up and wend our way. In fact, we could go a little bit more bendy than that. But we really want this one to be fairly close to an As the Crow Flies route, if at all possible. Because uh, it's only short, and therefore any time we spend not crow flying is uh, is money we're leaving behind. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We also want to try and stay flat as much as possible. Uh, would you like to select a bridge? I would like to select a bridge. And that bridge is going to be green. Uh, you, sir, is that the green bridge that you had in mind? I'm not really said no, that's that's hand railings. No, that's the green bridge that we had in mind. It's big and it's beefy and it loves being a part of this endeavour. There you go. So we've got a bit of smoothing. We've got a bit of tunnelling. We've got a bit of bridge. This is It's my idea of perfect line. For some reason, I've electrified it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to run an electric train on here. Yeah, watch me. Um... Right, and then we want to go across here. That's, that's obviously an expensive bit. But you know what? Check that for a view. I mean, I mean it's great. It's more than I can currently afford, but it's great. Uh, let's get our angle of, uh, of approach back to the station about right. Three million. Three million for that. I'm barely going any distance, Flower. Uh, I mean, come on. Cut me some slack here. Four million? No, 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 no. All right, okay. What if I were to aggressively bend around this corner? All right, okay. Well, firstly, you'd need to start bending around this corner a little bit quicker. If we were to do 
you know what? I like this as an idea. If we were to do like a little you a, a little horseshoe here. All right. I know it's wasting money I've already spent, but uh, I mean, you're not new here. You know that that's what I like doing anyway. Uh, we'll keep going. Sorry, Greenbridge. You might not make the cuts. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll try and do the horseshoe first. What sort of what sort of level are we at here? Where are you? You're there. So we're looking at around around here-ish. Now that's a 90 degree corner, which no matter how you do it, is always going to be a touch expensive. Don't know where you think you're going. We're going this way. Right, stay on the level. How tall a bridge are we likely to look at here? Fairly tall, but it's over, going over the top of a gully. So uh, we'll just wait for the autosave to complete its majestic journey across the screen there. Going, all that stuff you built, I've protected it for you. Going, oh, thank you very much. Now, I am now flying in the face of that which I said mere moments ago, which was I wanted to go as a crow flies. We're no longer going as a crow flies, and let's crow in question is drunk. Uh, right, let's do that. Also, if you're doing a horseshoe here, it's gonna you're gonna lose a lot of speed. What's your next what's your next bit? It's not that. Your next bit is going to be where are you gonna do the crossing? And so I think the crossing is going to be about here. I may end up junking this. This might not this might not work. Uh, but I like it as a concept and therefore we will explore that concept. Uh, as mentioned on numerous occasions, I don't know what bridge I've chosen there, but uh, I've chosen oh no. Oh no. No, you got that painfully wrong, didn't you? Um, and you know, uh, we might we might end up abandoning this pretty quickly. Uh, let's try that. I don't want to slow down to thirty-one. It's kind of important that we get there with a with a reasonable amount of hustle. What did you, what did you just do? Don't do that. Do this. Take it up a bit. All right, and then uh, do you even want to play ball? I, I'm suspecting you don't. What if we do two times up there? Ball, play. You want to play ball? Ball, you want to play with me? Okay, right. All right. Well, hold on. We've got our corner there. 40, 30, 32. That's not going to do it. No, we need this. We need this turning around quickly. Uh, as scenic and as beautiful as that is. It's not going to do it. Uh, the, I mean, the, the other side of that, of course, is we also want it to be quite quick. Because uh, we've got ships coming in and out of there all the time. So uh, so making it so that they're not running empty. Now, I mean, I could always stick wait till full on. But uh, as any veteran player will tell you, that comes with its own risks. So if we just if we went over this way a little bit more, and then maybe we can save a touch on the bridge cost. 89 to 91, that's okay. Right. And then, uh, and then uh, cross over the old, uh, the old in inlet here. I suppose I suppose it's an inlet to about there. Hey, I mean, see, we've got a bit of a wiggle on it. I mean, you know, wiggles are scenic, aren't they? Yes, they are. Certainly not efficient. Right, one point four million. Okay, right, good. So there you go. How's that look? Actually, I like that. That's all right. That's that's okay. Now then, here's the final stretch. This shouldn't be too hard. Getting around there. The tough bit's going to be marrying up this tunnel and then splitting it inside the inside the mountain. Uh, the other consideration there, of course, is uh, if I ever want to double track going through the tunnel out this way back onto the passenger main line, there's going to be some re-engineering required. But you know what I like doing? You're right, I do. It, I like re-engineering, so... Uh, so we'll do that now. Get the tunnel entrance like that, and then uh, we shall we shall go our own way all the way to here. Right, too much slope. Yeah, construction not possible. Oh, okay. Why is there too much slope? Where where am I looking at slope wise? It, it looks it looks fairly gentle. What if we put a if we stick a cut in there? Uh, no. 
Okay, all right, well, what have we... Mm, ah, mm, okay, now, ah, I think this road might have possibly been a, a causal factor there. Let's Let's try that again. And connect up with the bit of tunnel that we built, which is there. 3.26 million. Yep, there we go. That was the problem. It's whatever the problem was. I think we can do it slightly more genteel than 70 at that end. We're going to have another swing at that. Thank you. Right, if we get round here at, I don't know, let's, let's say 90. Right, also, not going uphill. Yeah, like that. Yes? Well, apparently so. Okay, and then finish it off and hope we don't drop below the speed that we dropped before because that would make me look rather foolish now, wouldn't it? Uh, well, we got 73 instead of 70. We'll declare victory. Take it. There we go. Right, it's connected. Hooray, finally. And it wasn't exactly complicated, but uh, I made a meal of it in that way that I so frequently do. Uh, we're probably going to want to connect this road back up because someone somewhere is going to be bothered about it. Uh, what's the best way to do that? Under or over? Uh, over, I reckon. Uh, give me, give me, give me a bit of this. Let's do some of that. Right, and then uh, and then see what she looks like. Uh, just, just give me a bit of yeah, medium country road will do the trick. Can you get across there, or uh, or have we got a change in elevation happening on that bit of track? Also, you appear to have undermined the next bit of track. Also, there's a lump in that bit of track. Unless you leave it alone. I, I'm i going to leave it alone then. Okay, well, option two is to go this way. Ooh, dramatic. Yeah, I mean, considering this is a piece of road that we don't care about at all, uh, how about you, you overspend on doing this then? Okay. All right, yeah. No one's ever going to use this piece of road. Just, just letting you know that everything you're doing right now is pointless, is uh, was without any reason whatsoever, and I'm not even convinced that this flashy business up here gives a hoot about what you're doing. But uh, you know, as long as it makes you happy, you you carry on. Too much slope. Oh dear. Do we really want to spend 115 grand on it? Yeah, okay. There you go. Right. That's half a million quid spent on well worth it. This tunnel is brilliant. Look at that. That's amazing. Uh, I'm even going to go to the effort of... Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, but uh, it's too late to do anything about it now. Uh, can, we, can, we get, uh, can we get an angle on that? Can we? Now, sometimes this will work. Today, however, is not one of those times. All right, stuff it. I don't care. Leave it alone. I do care, but I'm leaving it alone anyway. Uh, right, now, electrify both the stations. We're going to need a, uh, a depot of some description in there. Also, have a, have a word with that, will you? I don't know what word you're going to use, but have a one. Uh, upgrade, electrification, please don't collide. Thank you. Okay, right, and I also need to upgrade the other one to be electric as well. And then we get to the fun bit. Now, I say it's the fun bit because it's not fun at all, this. This is going to be, this is going to be rather hellish. Uh, and the reason it's going to be hellish is because we're going to change where the oil comes from. So we're going to shut this route down entirely. Uh, this one over here, we're going to we're going to transfer some trucks onto the line that runs that. I might read I might redevelop the road at the same time, and then we're going to need to send some trucks over here to do the delivery at this end. There's there are many moving pieces, and every opportunity to do it in an order that means that we make no money for an extended period. Uh, and given the the amount that I earn from oil. You know, I should be reluctant to do that. Am I, though? Not really. Uh, okay, now, if I'm, I'm going to try and think ahead a little. Uh, how big are you? I'm well big. All right, yeah. Because uh, I want to stick you right next to the next to the terminal here, because I think it will look good. And then we'll have your your exit will link up to this uh, this route we just stuck in. Assuming I got that the right way around, which I'm checking now. Good, good for you. 
Right. Uh, put some electrification on that, please. Thank you. Uh, right. Why am I putting this here? Because uh, if I uh, if I manage to work the other end of things well, yeah, I know there's there's no certainty about that in the slightest. But if I do manage to work the other side of things well, this can be the depot that services that uh, that hub in its entirety. Plus, look at it, and uh, and then you know we've even got a little tunnel that helps it to connect onto there. I think that the the drama. That, uh, that this speaks to really uh, really sells the whole uh, the whole business. Oh no, you've done it again. All right, okay. Well, if you can't hide it, hide it. That's the, you've you've not quite got that saying spot on there, have you? No. If you can't smooth it, conceal it. Beautiful, excellent, good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh oh dearie me. Isn't that nice? It's it's very good indeed. Of course, every tree that you place slows your frame rate down. Every time you place a tree, uh, God takes away one FPS. Uh, right, okay, there we go. What? Do, how do you feel about this, this particular? All right, okay, yeah, we'll take a uh, we'll take the the chainsaw to that one. Right, I I like it. I think you like it too, and uh, and you would not be wrong for doing so. Let's let's set up this route, and then we'll we'll fling something down it, and uh, and then we'll make all the necessary transitions so that we don't go bust. We won't go bust. The big boy's keeping us afloat. Right, you are going to be naming convention system, please. Uh, trains, something something financial, something industrial, industrial continental brick. That's that's one way to do it. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll go with industrial, industrial, uh, oil, uh, shuttle, I want something better than shuttle, um, it's not shunting, it's too far for that, uh, oil, we're just going to go for transit for now, and uh, I'll never revisit that, but I will say, if something else occurs to me, I'll revisit it later, but we, we both know that, that that's not going to happen. Uh, right, buy myself a choo-choo train, please. Something with electricity coursing through its very fibre of its soul of its being. Uh, please hold, we're just loading up the 75,000 different trains that are the same train, but uh, three different colours. Uh, right, uh, load that, locomotive electric. Mm. I do like a crocodile, as you know, but it is way too late to deploy the crocodile. It is too slow, and it's, it's still grunty though, isn't it? We're going to be looking at the E94. I think seven and a bit million. We could go with the GGGG, good game, uh, but that's more passenger oriented. Or the Milwaukee, which has always serviced me well in the past. Yes. Now, I like the Milwaukee, but it is flipping expensive. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a heavy hit hitter in terms of the amount of money it'll make you. What about a 7 7? 4 7. Uh, 7 4. 10 4. Roger that. Um, all right, okay, do it the other way around. Let's look at the wagons, because uh, once we ascertain the top speed that we're likely to be accomplishing, then we will have a better a better notion of uh, of all sorts of things. Uh, also, you might be using naffies. I don't want to use naffies. Then you're going to need something to deliver food and brick from the other end. I can do that. All right, okay, unpainted, fifteen ninety nine. Okay. 1899 200 grand a year 1.2 million each this is going to be a 20 million quid purchase isn't it fair enough okay right what have we got left in the loan account we've got I'll, let's uh, let's bump ourselves up here and then yeah that you know, let's keep bumping ourselves up right that'll be that that had better be more than enough let's go for bnsf 100 percent all the time all the way and we will go with 10, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What's that leave me with? 16 million for a loco. Well, we can afford that. These do 99. The GG1 does 99. Yes. It's a very fast, electric, powerful, ex exhaustively good train. Have I got anything with more grunt? 
well, the E94 is pretty beefy. Nope, we're going to go with it. Now, I know that, uh, that the, the, I, someone will correct me, but I was pretty sure that these were used for passenger services primarily. Um, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But uh, I'll tell you something. This needs to be uh, running full pretty flaming soon. So I've got to make the transition immediately, but uh, I just want to watch it coming out of the tunnel first. Um, uh, so I've got to move all of those trucks around, and that's going to be, that's going to be a fun one. Um, just just as soon as we come out of the tunnel. Because uh, cause there we are, look. Now, it is not the latest in technology, but it is perfectly serviceable, and I'm loving the look of them BNSF wagons behind it. That looks absolutely brilliant. All right, now, 99. Well, the slowest point we've got on there is a 70-odd, so that's not completely horrendous. Now then, next trick delivery this end okay so you oh, wait 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 you're jumping you're jumping all the guns and i bet you've lost it no you haven't right kill that all right go back here and uh, and properly evaluate the situation right what have we got running out of here industrial rack okay industrial to raccoon city right so that's the oil delivery running there fine uh, oil transfer rack naval, that's that one. And then oil transfer rack is the biggie. Uh, how many vehicles? A lot. Okay, so that's the one we want to monkey with. These we leave alone because uh, they're going to they're gonna work out just fine. But from here, so who's, who's actually delivering into Raccoon City? And none of you actually making an oil delivery into the town that you're situated right next to. Well, I'm appalled. Um, right, so what's the smart move here? I think the smart move is to take four of these. Uh, yes. And, uh, and deputize those onto a new route that you're about to make. Okay. All right. Fine. And then we'll kill the route off entirely. The refiner will be going, what do you mean everybody's unemployed? We got only a bit unemployed. Uh, you can all immediately go and get jobs at the new refinery, which might end up being even busier than the one you were working at before. And they will say, what do you mean might? Uh, right, okay, now then, where's my industrial segment? Well, it's here, isn't it? So, uh, so that's our stopping point. That's our drop-off. Right, easy peasy. Okay. Uh, only four. You've set up this wander route here for, for four wagons goodness me right okay you certainly know how to get the most out of your money uh lower alpha complex you can have a better name in a moment and we'll drop off that river street right and then we'll call you oh uh oil delivery oil delivery we're playing very fast and loose with naming conventions uh rack r a c c good yeah that's it. All right, bang all of these onto that. Uh, oil delivery rack, please. Oil delivery rack. Yes. Hold everything. Oil transit rack. What did you just? What route delivery? It's fine. You got it right. And I know we're all surprised, but uh, but you you did get it right. Oil delivery rack delivery. There you go. You same deal. O begins with rack ends with you over here oil delivery rack good now if we were lucky we won't be but uh, if we were lucky then the, the new refinery would start pumping out oil about now going like oh i i feel a changing in the tides uh i sense a watering down of the traditions that we have become used to but no it's it's not going to do that um instead we're going to have to just say Afraid, everybody, that uh, that the good times are over and that we're now running something else. Don't know if that new oil train is actually going to be uh, going to have enough capacity, but we'll figure that out pretty flipping quickly, I would imagine. Uh, right, let's kill off the old route, which is oil transit rack, unless I'm mistaken. We're going to check it twice. Industrial Alco, what's that? Alco Alpha Complex. 
Oh, this is Alpha Complex, not Raccoon City. Industrial Alco is empty. How many people are running on that? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, a shake. Okay, right. Well, we're going to change this route up then. And uh, instead of Alpha Complex Oil, which will kill off, we'll run you from uh, from here instead. So I've now got two routes on there. Oh, I was delivering to them after all. Right, uh, never mind. I'll, I'll fix that in a moment. Uh, right, oil transit rack is the one that we want to excommunicate this. Uh, everybody go and get sold. And then kill the line. Well, if that doesn't spur it in, well, hold on, it's worked. Right, we've got oil waiting there now. It's uh, Everything's good. We're all good here. With uh, it, this, is, this is working. Um, and then oil transfer. Hold on. Where's the new line? Line. Mm, oil transfer. Yes. What happens to oil delivery? Industrial delivery. Did it? Was it? Industrial something rack with only four trucks on it that you just set up. What did I do? Duh, I did something wrong. Uh, anything there? No, no, we've got no no flashing there. I, I done goofed somewhere, but I'm at a bit of a loss to know where it is I did done goof. Okay, that's most perplexing. Well, hold on, we can look here. There you go, oil delivery rack. Right. Uh, hello. They're all going, phew, we're reprieved. We are not made redundant after all. Okay. Oh, love, I've got a little bit of bad news for you. Oil delivery rack. I do beg your pardon. Um, I've, I've, I've unstuck myself. So where is it? All right, what does it think it is? Does it think it's a bus line? Yes, it thinks it's it thinks it's trams. Yeah, forget forget you, pal. Forget you. No, 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 no. They'll go. Oh, what well, we are redundant. Oh no. And I go. Yes, afraid so. Um, right. That's that's going to have an impact on on quite a few things. To be honest, the uh, the the tram service that runs out to the next uh, the next area is uh, is going to benefit from that. Let's pay back. I mean, that was nine million. But it still cost us 17 that. Uh, we ended up 5 million in the hole last year. We're 17 in the hole this year. Egad! Uh, well, aren't we spending the money? Right, quick look at the air price 1.65 running cost, 2.84 incoming. Fine, that's okay. As long as it's going the right way, then it's going the right way. Uh, keep paying it down. We're not going to get anywhere near where we need to be this time around. Uh, but there it is. Right, that's going to wrap it up for this time. Bit of a bit of an elongated episode, I suppose. Ah, only slightly. Um, I need to do some work on uh, on fixing this lot up, but that will happen. Are you dropping off? Oh no, you're the big boy, and you haven't actually got a huge amount on there, which means I got a backlog or a uh, a shortage of delivery interest occurring there. But that's our next objective, is that we will switch the big boy to running up and up the hill and back again. And then we'll put a second train in that will run faster than the big boy between the stone mine and this station. It's not going to be easy. But once it's done, then... Wait for it. Wait. I've, I've zoomed out a smidge too far there. Uh, but then once we've done that, we will try and figure out a way of making these two tracks not collide with this tunnel and instead head over to Rapture, where exciting things will, will occur. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, I would like to give you something interesting to look at. Hold on, here's something interesting to look at. Look, there you go, is, uh, is, is the good game one coming down the mountainside uh, with its happy delivery of what I hope is probably a full load of oil. I'll take 200. 121. It's not nothing. But more work is required. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I love it. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is all good. This is, this is all very good. Because it's just jolly attractive, isn't it? Uh, I'll be back very soon with another one. Uh, I'll leave you riding on. Cheerio! So if this oil train runs full, this route could make quite a tidy little profit. Um, it's, it's more about making sure that I'm not 
through putting, putting through fewer uh, barrels of oil than I was previously because the system as it was was running very, very smoothly and, uh, and generating a nice income as a result of that. If I've if I've miscalculated the the, the number of uh, the number of barrels I need to, to throughput here, then uh, then that's not going to work out. So if there's going to be a little bit of a, a kind of warming up period where we figure out whether or not uh, it's now hitting the mark, or uh, or whether I need to up or downgrade the amount that I'm, I'm sticking through. But that's that's part of the fun of the thing is uh, you, first you build it and make it work, and then you mess around with it and break it and have to make it work again. And that's the, that's the fun stuff right there. Yes, it is.